Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of Cartoon Animator 4 for you. I've just clicked on the icon, and up comes the uh, splash screen with uh, Reillusion, which is the makers of Cartoon Animator 4. And the version is Pipeline. Um, you could have Pro as well, but Pipeline is the, the better version because you can add um, your uh, own editor to it, like. Um, a PSD editor so you can change your animations by uh, using the PSD editor to change the actual images and uh, they automatically change on Cartoon Animator once you've saved them on the PSD editor as well so that's a pretty cool uh, trick really um, that's why you link them as well so it makes it easier for you to use with the actual app right now you've got four different um, initial things on the uh, splash screen which is the product demo which is the link to the product demos uh, training resources which is the tutorial videos uh, some of which are crazy talk 3 which is the previous version to cartoon animator 4 then you've got the uh, get more content which is the marketplace for cartoon animator 4 and check for updates as well which is a good idea on the splash screen to put check for updates on really i think that's a good idea as well as that um if you don't want to see the splash screen on the next time you can just click the checkbox here and then you press close and when you do that uh, you'll have a reillusion hub message come up saying do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device you click yes obviously because you bought the app um so that's that right now first of all i want to go on to the the menus at the top which is the file menu there and you've got new project open project open recent side project as and so so on and so forth you've got composer here you've got convert to scene convert to prop import model and import animation and exit right now some of these are grayed out obviously because i've got nothing on the actual scene area which is the, the front part here uh, you've also got content manager over here where you can add some content to your scene um, some of it is already on and you can buy some more on the marketplace as well if you want to right now what I'm going to do is go into edit part and show you that's almost the same as normal where you got undo redo select the select button there is also here and there's a delete button beneath that the select button you've got to use whenever you want to put any animations on your character you need to make sure your characters selected each time by clicking over that button or that button right uh, duplicate is um, what it normally does duplicates things it's all here as well and you've got apply selected render style so you can have different render styles whether it's um, contrast or you know saturated or something like that so you can make it black and white instead of color or, and things like that right so that's that's there and it's also here so th those two are the same you got flip which means you can flip the object uh, uh, horizontally or vertically and the flip is up there as well on the toolbar there and you got link which links two or three items together and you can use that link to move items together in the same direction uh, until you've unlinked them obviously it'll stay they'll stay together as like a, a sync syncing them together in the same movement which is quite cool really and you've got um, visibility there so if you want something that's visible on the screen to become invisible or vice versa you click on the visible one on the timeline which is down there um, which I'm going to go to in a bit right so the visibility is there as well and you've got opacity which is solidity of an item when it's 100% opacity that means it's completely solid if you get to 50% opacity that's like it's uh, see through like um, a window or something like that and then if you get to 0% opacity you, it's invisible completely so that's what opacity is right uh, motion clip this gives you uh, tools for the motion clip whether you want to loop it or uh, the speed control or break the motion uh, remove a motion or sample motion clip or flatten the motion clip uh, also motion retargeting and 3d motion settings are here and there's two things already um, 
selected by the uh, st by the uh, original um, app itself. Uh, clip auto extend and 3D motion alignment are already selected automatically, and there's an align with previous motion which is not selected, but it's there highlighted so you can actually uh, click that one if you want to. Um, next down there is you've got smooth deformed object and also affected by 3d motion it's down there as well uh, them are grayed out so you can't select them on the moment but if you do have something on the scene that might need doing it, it, it'll be able to use them to do it with and uh, you've got project settings there and you've got preference now preferences uh, important to anybody who's got pipeline because uh, if you want to change your image editor from photo p which is the one that's defaulted on this at the moment um you can go on to the image on the image on the preferences and it goes to image editor and photo p is there selected and you can change it by selecting the selected editor there and you can change it from transparent png to png and separate mask if you want to and it says here which um which PSD formats are, sl are supported by Cotton Animator 4. You've got Ad Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Photo or Designer, uh, Clip Studio Paint and Krita. Right, so them are the ones that are on here saying that they're supported by this app. So that's how you do it. You just change that to there and you, you, um, you go to the folder where your actual EXE folder is, I mean EXE app is you know the uh, the app that you want whether it's affinity so mine's affinity i've got affinity there look oh, but i'm going to leave it without up at the moment right and if you do change it your icon will change there to the one that's like photoshop or affinity or whatever you got right now create comes up with the create menu for create character create media is props scene image layer and background you can create sound by doing sound effects one and two and background you can also create a script by using a voice recorder uh, recording your voice on the voice recorder down here um, or you can um, add text to speech or you can use a WAV file or you can add cartoon script if you want to uh, as well as that because I've got pipeline it'll say launch PSD editor and you can add a new object and create an object in the PSD editor while the, while it's launched and it'll once you once you've saved it it'll come onto this area straight away or you can open a file and then it'll come onto this after you've saved it right and then you've got render style there and runtime composer there if you need them right next one is animation which gives you all the different editors that are used down this side here uh, you've got sprite editor action menu editor 2d motion key editor body puppet which is basically uh, to change the powers of the body or the character you got 3d motion key editor face key editor and face puppet which are both used for um, doing different um, expressions on the face really and there's a lips editor there so in case you want to do lip syncing or anything like that and there's a layer editor which you use for parts of the body if you want a part of the body behind another part say if you want to get a character scratching his back then you want his hand behind his back so you'd have to use a layer edge to put his hand behind his back and you've got a prop key editor there for props text editor there for text sound modifier add keyframes for the uh, timeline uh, zero key uh, uh, text anything that's whatever selected to that zero key okay, there uh, motion align aligns motions to the things that have selected and motion align our clip there will be the whole clip to whatever is selected and then you've got the reset button here and in between you've got project ed edit options and remove animation there so when you've got some up it, they'll all come up as and when you need them now control is actually the play settings across here so you've got the play and pause and you've got your stop go to start end next and previous loop button is the same as this one down here that's the loop and you've got your actor voice which is over this side 
and your sound effects which is over this side so you can turn them off via this or via this and um, and the you got angle snap and snap to grid and toggle to orthographic camera and you've got camera record mode now camera record mode use this if you want to change something on the scene and you want it recording onto the timeline so i'll say for example i'll do that there you see there's a camera in red and it's got record there so if you move something on the scene or do something with the scene it will record it onto the timeline which is under there so that's the timeline you just start doing something on there all right so we don't want that really but if you do move anything make sure that isn't red and the record isn't there okay right so that's all that right render is the normal render for a video so you've got for mp3 or there are other methods of uh, rendering besides mp3 on there um, render image you can use for animated gifs i'll use it for my animated character gifs and um, you can render an image as a jpeg or a png and you can also render object based sequences and also export psd files and you can export to after effects as well that's a beta and you can also render to audios as well and lower down this quick capture to clipboard as well right now the view you got on screen display full screen mode full screen mode with safe area and you got a camera view where you got zoom um, in the z fashion that's depth of the of the video so let's go back on it zoom in depth and then pan the camera and roll the camera right so you can do that and there switch to 3d mode which switches it to 3d mode so if you're panning in the z mode you'd be going that way across that way so you'd be going backwards and forwards along there so i just turn that off by doing that right um then we go on to window which is all the toolbars you can toggle them on and off and content manager and scene manager are on here as well and you've got the keys there to turn them on and off if you need to right plugins the plugin is the uh, image editor that we've got which is photo p on this one but if you change it uh, on the edit area it'll be changed to whichever one you've got there which will be affinity or or photoshop if you've got photoshop and help is just the normal help with the, all the stuff there like you can you can touch it on everything like the video tutorials marketplace updates technical support even about create a cartoon animator for as well uh, so there's a lot of stuff there right now all of these toolbars across here are in there right so and you got on this side you've got composer there you got create character here create media there um, create script which is the voiceovers you can do and it's different things like that. text editors there you've got render style there you've got runtime composer 3d motion key editor sprite editor body puppet base puppet 2d motion key editor base key editor base key editor is like the base puppet only it's more advanced than face puppet and so is the other ones you know any of the key editors are more advanced than the other stuff really and then you got prop key editor there and you got the layer editor right now i've showed you all that i'm going to show you where the timeline is the timeline is down here right if you, if you have a look at the timeline there there's nothing on it at the moment so there's not a lot to show you at the moment but when when i put some on here it'll be better Wait, let's put, try and get that in there if i can i can't get it on there i want to get it on there that's it got it right now if you see when you're d doing something like if you're playing it like that right now if you want to cut down a video you you move this red uh triangle across and when you get close to where the black square is down here um, you'll see a red line coming towards it there this one that thing there if you want it to be dead on the black square to make it as far as that is 
and that would be I'd make your video that long and it would stop there then if you don't do that and leave it going it'll carry on and on and on for about a, a thousand um, frames or something so I'll show you I'll show you that look see just keep going and going right so remember that as well that's important because otherwise you could you, you could render a thing with loads and loads of um, frames that you don't want and it'll take for ages to do that right next I'm going to go on to content manager and I'm going to show you the good thing about this first of all they've got a scene which is a really good scene on here it's the only one that's animated I'm afraid but it's a really good scene and I'll just show you that there you go look how good that is nearly everything's animated there it's pretty good isn't it right um, next I'm going to add a character to that there we go um, character I'm just going to add a 3D uh, G3 character right and I'm just going to find him I'll go down there to where is it I've lost him I'm on the wrong one I think let's go back to character G3 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 human keep going I've lost my character where's he gone oh there he is G3 elastic man I side view there he is right um, now he's in front of that at the moment but I want to be behind that there like that that's what you do the, that's the same as this Z um, zooming so it zooms the character depth into the picture so it'll be behind that now right so I wanted to show you that and I wanted to show you that these are automatically animated straight away because if you click on the right action menu there it gives you all the different ones you can do uh, to do that if, if you've got your own character you go on to action menu go on to G3 human and if he hasn't got any actions on his action menu you just click on the one which is similar to it like elastic front would be now it's to be elastic side for him because he's a side character he's 45 degrees so you click on elastic side and all them would be on there there are other motions which are not on there which is what I'm going to show you next um, so we're going to go on to this motion 3G human elastic valk side and move right there we go we've got jump and jump in there like that and then I want him to move about so if you want him to walk you know, that one two three four all right yeah as you can see there's three different walks there right walk one is the start walk two l is a loop so i've done that twice and walk three e is the end end of his walk right so uh, now i'm going to have a look on the timeline for you i'm going to put on motion on there and you can see there's a jump and then it goes to Let's, let's just start it from the beginning on there and let's show you where it stops the jump that's it it was about there wasn't it let's go back on there there about there where he starts walking right now what we've done there we've gone to there right so what i want to do with the elastic man is click on transform when it gets to there click on that right so that to that should be him standing still or jumping and then stop there right now I've done that for on purpose because I want to walk him across to the other side of there now so I want to go up to the end of the walking or more or less let's see where's the end of his walking there there he's finished walking there so if we get to there now I want to pull him all the way across to there right now that should be work that should work great because if i put it to the end he would slide a bit but because i got him to the end of his actually walking movement from there by watching that it should walk straight to that area and should be okay and this 
dot being there, which I've put there on purpose, was be the start point, rather than him starting from there. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take it back to the beginning and play that, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Right, he's walking, and he's there. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop that because right, I didn't put, I didn't pull that red triangle forward to the area. Right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back all the way to there to show you the difference between the other way and doing it there. Right, you'll see what I mean. What's what the difference is, and what I'll do is I'll pull this across a bit so so we don't keep travel on further than it should. So it's close to the area. Right, so I'll just do that, and then I'll just move that there. Right. So now what we'll do is we'll just show you that, and you'll see what I mean with this. Right. And he's walking. Oh, he's, he's still moving, even though his feet were moving. He's still moving. That's the difference. So you got to check for that. So when you see the end of the animation of his walking, that's where you got to put it, and that'll be about there, which is about right I think let's just do that and check yeah that's fine right so that's what you do to do a character walking like that and I'll do that again for you just to show you that's okay it's pretty good right now if you wanted to add your own character um, if it's a PSD character and you've already got it rigged up which you can do if you use um, a body um, dummy which I, I use a lot uh, for my, what I do um, then you can automatically add a character as a, a PSD image and I'm going to do just add one now to show it yeah there is my PSD mummy and I'm going to put him on the thingy there he's on the scene now what I'm going to do is have the mummy jump or something like that and I'll show you that it will work right what I need to do is go into content manager animation add an animation to it um i'll need to go on to g3 elastic folks front facing move and double jump there you go say now that's how you add your own characters you just uh, add them like that right so do you you seen what i've done i've clicked on that to open a character put a character on I found my character because he'd already been rigged all I had to do is go to animation and rig him up with the uh, actual jump or if I wanted to I could have gone to action menu and click, clicked on G3 like that human and done elastic front and clicked on that and he would have all the actions on there uh, on there which he ain't got at the moment but watch when I do when I do this you know I'll get it to work on him oops it's failed to load at the minute let's put him on there yeah it's on now so action menu there you go all them are on there now so I can use any of them for that character and that's how you use this program so I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and I hope uh, it helps you with the uh, learning of this program it's a, ma a massively brilliant program I really like this program and it's really great I use it for all my GIF animations at the moment and I hope you can use it for uh, wonderful things in the future please like and subscribe to Tony's Music if you like this video thank you